Hello all, Zyzeos here. So today we're doing another replay review, this time it will be on a map called Wooster. Uh, it's made by a previous Pantheon of Builders winner. So, kind of expect better maps from people that have won competitions in general. So, I was playing this fairly late, so I'm a little tired, so I'm messing up a little bit. But I started with Sledge Shield, because that's what I've been playing the rest of the expedition with. And I was intending to speed run, but when I'm tired, I just get distracted. So there isn't actually much speed running going on here, which is part of the reason why I had so many problems with it. As you can see, I've, we're already on three deaths because I we skipped a couple, just because there's a lot, and we don't really need to be here for 40 minutes while I die with Sledge Shield a bunch of times because I'm too tired to actually play it. But I just picked out like a select few for the sledge shield stuff, but as you can see I've got through that first section which was a relatively small gap for a piston and an incinerator with a just using a flash barrier to get to it and I come down here. As soon as I hit this there's two guards here. I didn't see the assassin at all. The moment the assassin triggers straight up that ramp. No, that's how assassins do be. So not a lot about that. The main reason I chose this map is actually about once I've stopped being stubborn and decide to swap off of the loadout that's not really working for me at the time. We'll get to that soon enough. I believe this is just a regular I get through. This is just to show what I saw beforehand so that some of my decisions later on make sense. So yeah, lots of lasers. The ones in that first room are really well set up. They really force you to actually deal with them or go forward. These ones, not so much. These are relatively basic and don't work anywhere near as well. And if I was on a non-melee loadout, I could just deal with these by just shooting them most of the time. Although at least there's no flat walls that the that you could have used using the arc barrier to reflect the shot. So this is the first time we're on this corner. I've not seen this before. That blows up. I hear it. Something else exploding. So wait. And then I go forward, and there's another one of these Warmonger Assassin pairs, and they pack them in so tight, I don't... That never seems to work for me. Anyway, we come around here, we find, I think it's just the Assassin. There it is. And I press the Arc Barrier way too early. This hasn't even aggroed, because I thought it was already aggro, so I thought it was just going to immediately attack. A couple deaths where I just die like a chump. Probably in the first room, I think, for those two. It's how most of the dying like a chump happened. And we are back in it. I believe this is the last one before we swap to the next loadout. So this is more like how I should have been playing it the whole time, like I'm actually running forward. I'm like mistiming when I'm using the shield, but that's a whole other problem. But here I stopped doing that, which I don't think that's the correct call. I think I can probably run through that if I can just get the shield at the right time. And like if I don't deal with these, it's actually probably safer. Oh, so many missed lunges. I was real tired when I was playing this. It was like 2am or something. <laughs> yeah, so we see that they have another, that they actually have another room, which is fair, like, 
it's really good to have two open wounds in most of the time. So I throw out a arc barrier to see what's going on here. I don't know how I didn't manage to trigger that. Iron Claw. But now I know there's another room. I've looked down a corridor. It has a massive corridor that leads straight down that goes to an incinerator with another piston in it. I incorrectly think that that won't be something that I'll be able to deal with. Whereas I'm pretty sure if I just throw the flash uh, barrier into it now, I'm pretty sure that if you just follow the flash barrier into it, you can just hide in that corridor with no problems. Because nothing's looking down that way, it's all looking towards the entrance where you came in. Anyway, I decided to swap to dual gun because I'm having a lot of trouble with guards. And that's just a good loadout in general for most bases. And I don't really want to stick with melee right now with how I was playing. If I was playing better, I probably could have done something with the load stuff. And Fury's Edge, which is my go to like slow loadout. But it's also kind of difficult to play, so it's not, it, like, when I'm playing bad, I don't really want to swap to it, so. Anyway. It's around here that I realised that I have to fire three shots forward to deal with this. I probably could try something with the arc barrier and using the arc barrier shield to reflect these shots back at the thing, but... Yeah, there's a little bit too much going on there, so I decided to swap to the Vault Lancer and Lodestar. There's a few reasons for this. The, there's a lot of sentry beams that are causing a lot of hassles, and the Lodestar can deal with them by itself without having to use ammo. Like that. And the Vault Lancer will help me deal with both any guards or traps that are left over. Like that. So I don't have to be as safe going through these rooms um, and can just deal with things. I realize I haven't thrown down a phoenix pod so I throw that down and now we're ready to go forward. I also, in that upcoming section with the Warmonger and the Assassin, that was actually giving me a reasonable bit of trouble. I don't think it should have, but... Sometimes you just have issues... Do, uh, sometimes you're just gonna have some trouble doing what things you've done a million times before. It happens. Not everyone can play at 100% at all times. And it's silly to expect as much, but we go down here, and I, what I was going with that is, because I've got the Lodestar, and because these are half corridors effectively, because the, the two slopes don't actually give a full blocks clearance. If I put a Lodestar in there, they actually cover more of that percentage of that space, and I should probably mention what happened with that little hidey hole. There's a bomb trap there, the bombs go through that and can get you quite far back, so the I like covered the hidey hole so that the bombs didn't get in there before I got there. Ran forward, triggered the thing, and then ran back to the hidey hole, and that yeah, we just saw the Bolt Lancer Lodestar in action there with these half corridors. It's just a very good thing uh, to deal with, although I didn't really need it because I was close enough with the, the Bolt Lancer. If I'd been a bit further away, if I'd mistraveled the distance, I wouldn't have been getting my ammo back immediately and that could have been a problem. But we are back to this second room. And I get the Iron Claw on the left using the Lodestar after taking out a Impaler, 
for roughly where I want to stand. I believe I'm going to move forward and then I mess up. And die because of it. I think I cancelled the load star on reflex because I was trying to use it to block the iron claw, which is what actually got me killed in the long run. So it would have still been there for me to run back through otherwise. Which is unfortunate. But it's something I can deal with at the moment. Now I need to try and deal with these guards. And that one there is on a slope, so I'm trying not to shoot at it from this distance because I think it'll trap my ammo. And I miss the shot as I jump up, which becomes a problem on this life. Because there are still three enforcers in spots that are awkward for me to collect my ammo from. So we get back here. I've got one ammo. I'm trying to aim for the one that's on flat ground, and I miss again. No, I actually hit that one. Never mind. But, yeah, I was looking, I had to, was tunnel focus on the one that I tried to kill before, which meant that I wasn't dodging the one that was over on the side. If one of those two had been dead already, I think I probably would have survived, and that would have been the successful run. Instead, we have to start from the start. And, yeah, start by dealing with the lasers, with just the lodestar, lining it up, and just taking out what's safe to take out when I can, ta when I can take stuff out, so I can actually get into this room and not be sitting in acid. That guy falls over to the left rather than down the ramp, which is a bit unfortunate. But I do go to collect the bolt there and block a uh, bolt shot that I thought was pointed straight forward, but realized immediately afterwards that it's pointed at an angle, which means that I didn't actually need to block because I was too far across. But yeah, we're no lives. Uh, we no Phoenix pods down, plenty of lives down at this point, and we are cleared this first room. I believe I throw a Phoenix pod down now, I could be mistaken. Nope, we're going to keep going forward by looking at things. Ah, okay, there's the Phoenix pod, there we go. So yeah. Dealing with these sentry beams, just using the bolts, and we're doing the thing again with the little um, hidey hole, just creating a safe corner for me to hide in from the bomb trap that I need to run away from. Get a bolt shot down there, I miss, so I have to shoot up another one. And this trick here, this wouldn't work on other weapons like the demo cannon because the demo cannon uh, doesn't recharge its shot until you until you pick up the ammo but for some reason the vault lancer will still recharge the it's only like 0.8 seconds so it's not a long time but yeah it, it recharges when you don't have ammo whereas the demo cannon doesn't it's really annoying and it's always been that way. It's just inconsistent behaviour, which I'm not a big fan of. Just going through this corridor here. I actually saw the value on the first ramp of the load stuff for this stuff, and I go back to the plan that I had in the first run, where I try to actually line up my shots properly by getting some more time from actually being a thing and I destroy that impaler with the load star so I ran past it and I actually had forgotten about it which was kind of awkward and then I just die like a chump I'm not super happy with these two phoenix pod users here I'm like Barely picking up one ammo, 
but like if I'm gonna suicide for ammo, I want to get all my ammo back. If I'm going to If I'm not gonna die anyway, then like I would rather not. And yeah, I'm just not. I'm not getting any ammo because I'm trying to play it safe enough that I can survive, and it's just not working. But here, we go into this gap here and set up a safe little cubby right next to the enforcers using the lodestar. Which was not something I had considered when the loads... I, th I thought that was coming uh, horizontally, but it's actually a vertical one. Um, so it was nowhere near as dangerous as I thought it was going to be. The... Yeah, so that little cubby... Setting up like a safe little cubby with the load style was like... Definitely the correct call there. And like, I'm glad that I found it before the... Uh, before the end of the raid. It would suck if that was something that I'd found while doing the replay review. Yeah, I heard that Ravager as I came around the corner. I just couldn't work out where it was, but eventually determined it to be in there, and I could, and that I could take it out pretty easily. When we go up here, there's nothing super exciting except that, and I load star to block all those bombs in, which is perfect. And now, we don't want to get chased by something, so we deal with that, and then we check if it's a secret exit. It's not. Okay. Time to go forward. That was probably Hunter. Let's start with a save from it. This is double down. Loadstar covers double down pretty well. Now, I'm trying to shoot at a corner here because I... And that was not the right corner to choose to shoot at. Because I don't want my bolt to go like a million miles away. Deadman switch, just dodge that quickly. Come back up. I think it got stuck in the wall anyway, so... Stuck to the wall anyway, so probably wouldn't have done anything. But it just came from a little cabin in the left there. And because I'm going slowly I can just safely check everything. Which is fine. So I think at this point I'm mostly give up on that and just run forward. No, maybe not. It's been too long. It's taken too long to actually finish this level so I'd probably just play it safe the whole way through. But yeah, like, this was a really, uh, this map, I think, is a really good showcase of what the Lodestar can do in general. And, like, it's a reminder that I shouldn't try and force a loadout for a particular outpost. But we are getting out now. And this is the end of the outpost. I believe I just run around and grab the tombs because I think I had a tomb daily at the time. And they were all marked, which was nice. I'm not the biggest fan of using the T light to mark the tombs because it takes up because you have to use that pack I prefer to use decals for it because you get a lot more decals than you get packs but it works and the trailblazer that I normally use is not actually available to everyone it's only open beta but yeah that was it for that I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, and yeah you can see the death totals here it was a lot more than we saw in the actual video but yeah i'll see you next time